What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel WWE Elite Collection NXT TakeOver Bobby Roode. Here we do have the glorious Bobby Roode in the packaging. You can see he does come with a new NXT title. What we're going to do now is take a little break, get him open up, and then we'll have a better look at the figure inside. So stay tuned everyone. And so here we have Bobby Roode posed and out of the packaging. Before we have a look at the figure, let's actually take a look at what Bobby Roode comes with. Bobby Roode does come with the new NXT title, which is a really nice sculpt. I think it's one of my favorite titles that I own right now. It's really well detailed. It's a really nice wash on it. And it does fit over his shoulder or clip around his waist like all the other titles you would expect. And like I said, it's a really well done accessory. I really do like it. But other than that, Bobby Roode here doesn't come with any other accessories, no robe, which is a little bit of a shame. But we do have the entrance great Bobby Roode for that, so it's not a big deal. So with his one and only accessory out of the way, let's actually have a better look at Bobby Roode. And so here we have a closer look at Bobby Roode, and I really do like the head sculpt on this figure. Now, he is using the original uh, hand-painted face, which looks really, really nice. Um, again, the... Face printing tech, Bobby Roode just doesn't look that good, and the basic face paint does, so I don't know what the issue is with that, but it does look nice, although you can see right here on mine, his beard is a little bit uh, not painted 100% well, and then we do have a little smudge right there on his cheek. But other than that, still a really good paint job for his head. Now, there's really not much to say in terms of his attire. He is just wearing black trunks that say Roode on the back. Or on the front and on the back it does say glorious and then we also do have the little bedazzled jewels whatever you want to call them the studs so overall really nice attire and then you can see he does have black wrist tape going on to his knee pads you can see they are using the open knee pads in the back which i don't think they're a hundred percent accurate to what bobby Roode wore but i can fix that up whether or not i'm going to do that is still up in the air because i already did that. He is wearing black boots with black laces and black soles. So really basic attire for Bobby Roode. I do like the body that they chose for Bobby, for Bobby Roode here and I'm trying to remember what other figures use this torso. I know I've seen it before it's just slipping my mind at the moment. But really do like the torso. It actually fits Bobby Roode really well. But other than that, there's really not much to say about Bobby Roode. His attire is really basic. Uh, black trunks, black knee pads, black, black shoes, and then the black wrist tape. So overall, basic attire, but still really like this figure. So what I'm going to do now is actually compare him to a few other figures you may have in your collection. And so here we have Bobby Roode posed with an Elite Collection Randy Orton and an Elite Collection AJ Styles. And finally, here we have Bobby Roode posed next to a basic Bobby Roode and the entrance great Bobby Roode. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually have a look at Bobby Roode's articulation. Now, he does sport the standard elite articulation. If you don't know what that is, let's run through it really fast. He does have a ball joint in the head and he can look back really well. I do like that. Can't really look down, but that head movement is actually really good. Can tilt his head side to side, no problem. As well as rotate, although his chin does butt up against his trapezoid, so it does push his neck up while you're rotating. But that's perfectly okay. Arms on a ball joint, they do go out to about that far. Do a full 360, no issues there. Swivel at the bicep, single hinge at the elbow, swivel and hinge at the wrist. We do have an ab crunch which goes back only about that far. It's not really that impressive, but we do get forward ab crunch about there, so it's better going forward than back. We have a swivel at the waist. Legs do go forward, back, and out. No issues there. Swivel at the thigh, double bend in the knee. Swivel at the boot, and then we also do have a hinge in the ankle which goes back about that far, comes forward about that far. And then we also do get rocker ankle. So overall, really like the articulation on Bobby Roode here. So what we're going to do now is take a little break, get him posed for my final thoughts, and then we'll wrap up this review. And so here we do have the NXT TakeOver Bobby Roode posed for my final thoughts. Overall, I really do like the way this figure came out. I do feel 
this being an exclusive figure, he should have come with an entrance robe. But if you have the entrance great Bobby Roode, you can always just take that robe and put it on this figure. Plus, the inclusion of the new NXT title is a must-have for any WWE collection. The NXT title looks amazing. I really do like the hand-painted Bobby Roode face on this. It's much better than the face printing tech that we got with the entrance great Bobby Roode. Overall, I just feel like this is a much stronger figure. Despite the fact his knee pads are a little bit inaccurate, it's still something I can fix by myself. I don't need to complain too much about it. But still, I do prefer this over the entrance great Bobby Roode. And if you're able to track down this Bobby Roode, I really do recommend you add him to your collection. Now this Bobby Roode is kind of hard to track down. I was lucky enough to find him at my local Target. I just walked in there with my friend and he was just sitting there on the peg so I had to pick him up. It's been a figure I've been wanting for almost a full year now and I'm really glad I have him in my collection. So if you can find this Bobby Roode out in the wild, definitely pick him up or you will be spending about $30 to $40 for this figure. With that being said guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other WWE videos. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments and if it fits in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. Until next time guys, I'll see you later. Take care everyone.